Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I'm so happy to have you here. For today's video, as you can see, I'm going to show you how I created this cute and simple eye look. This is something you can do really quick if you don't have a lot of time but you want to look nice. It's not dramatic at all. As you can see, I didn't wear fake eyelashes. And this is super cute for graduation or any party that you want to look simple but cute. And I share some tips and tricks on how to apply eyeliner on hooded eyes or small eyes so this is perfect for beginners i hope you like it before we get started if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos and give this video a thumbs up if you like this look and now let's get started As always, I'm going to grab my concealer to clean the bottom of my eyebrows. Today, I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the Anastasia A4 brush. I will leave the link to my eyebrow tutorial in the description box below in case you want to know how I do my eyebrows. And you can see right here that my eyelid has different tones. You can see the little veins. And it's a bit greasy, which is why I always love to apply concealer because it covers all of that up. And everything from the eyelid to the brow bone looks in just one tone. And I'm blending out the concealer with my e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge. You can also use your finger if you don't have a sponge. And this is also important because the eyeshadows are also going to apply in just one tone. They're not going to look in different shades. Today I'll be using this palette from Pixi. It's called Rosette Ray. It has such cute matte and shimmery eyeshadows. First, I'm going to grab this one right here with my finger. It's such like an elegant, super cute, subtle tone. And I'm going to apply this in tapping motions with my finger directly on top of the concealer. I did not set the concealer because this way the shimmery eyeshadow is going to stand out a lot more and it's going to last all day. And you can see that with the finger, the eyeshadow applies really, really good. You don't really need a brush. Brush. And I'm just going to apply this on my eyelid, just going over the crease a little bit. Now I'm going to grab this eyeshadow using this brush from Profusion ES6. And I'm going to apply this in tapping motions on the outer corner of my eyelid. And since these eyeshadows aren't dark, these are going to be really easy and quick to apply. And I'm telling you, you can do this look in just five minutes. Really quick and simple, but super cute. And I'm also going to apply this eyeshadow on my lower lash line, but I'm using a different smaller brush and I'm applying it from the inner corner to the outer corner as close to the lash line as I can. And then I connect it with the eyeshadow on the top on the outer corner. Now I'm going to grab my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and this fluffy brush from Profusion to set the rest of the concealer on the brow bone I applied in Tapping Motions. And I'm also going to use whatever is left on the brush to help blend out the eyeshadows even better. They're just going to look smoother and the eyeshadows are going to look softer. This is a part I really like to do and if you weren't able to blend out your eyeshadows good, this part will help you. And you can also use Translucent Powder. Now I'm going to grab the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof liquid eyeliner in ultra black and I'm going to start the eyeliner on the center of my lash line and I'm going to start with a very thin line to the outer corner and once I'm done with that I'm going to finish up the inner corner and if you have hooded eyes or small eyes I suggest you try to avoid applying eyeliner on the inner corner or do a very thin line like I'm doing because if you do a thick liner and you have hooded eyes it's just going to cover up your eyelid and your eyes are going to look smaller so you don't want that so just do a very thin line for the wing part I'm going to start in the outer corner just do a very thin and small liner and then connect it on the top all the way to the center of my eyelid and then this is the part where I do it either thicker or I extend it a bit more I just fix the little errors I made and I just try to make it look just like the other eyeliner Now I'm going to grab my eyelash curler. This is my baby right here, always making my eyelashes look nice and curled. I'll leave the link to where I got this eyelash curler in the descri description box below in case you're interested. When I curl my lashes, I make sure all of the little lashes are in the curler and I leave it for like 10 seconds. And when I start taking off the 
curler. I keep curling my lashes. I don't know if that makes sense, but you can see right here how I'm doing it. That way the eyelashes are even more curled. And today I'll be using the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara. For those of you that know me or have seen some of my videos, you know that this is my favorite, all-time favorite mascara. I'll never change it for the world. And it's been my favorite for so many years because it just always always leaves my eyelashes looking really nice and long. I'll leave the video on how I apply mascara on my natural lashes step by step in the description box below in case you are interested. I always make sure I apply the mascara from the roots all the way to the tip of the eyelash and I apply two layers but before I apply the second layer I always make sure that the eyelashes are a bit dry and then once I start applying the second layer I push the eyelashes against my eyelid. Well I don't touch the eyelid obviously because I don't want to mess it up but I do push the eyelashes up so you have to be really careful right here and then I do go over the tip of the eyelashes just a little bit because I don't want the eyelashes to be full of product because then they're gonna look clumpy but yeah this is a part that will help make your eyelashes look longer and I'm also going to apply mascara on my lower lashes and this is the final step for this look I really hope this tutorial helped you and I hope you liked this look like I said this is something simple but super cute if you don't want to apply a lot of makeup but you want to look cute to go out or for a party so I really hope you like this look. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!